50 years ago today, about a quarter million people marched on the National Mall on Washington to demand change. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. sharing his dream for America from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. His indelible words, a watershed moment in the civil rights movement. Today, thousands will gather once again to commemorate those now famous words that forever changed our country. 50 years ago, there was so much fear. People are afraid to be afraid. The fear is gone. Our country is better and we are better people. We still have a distance to go. That distance front and center today as the nation's first black president will add his vision as the marquee speaker at the anniversary celebration. President Obama acknowledges that while a lot of progress has been made, King would not be satisfied. We have not made as much progress as the, the civil and social progress that we've made and that it's not enough just to have a black president. There are renewed calls for addressing socioeconomic and racial disparities. The recent acquittal of George Zimmerman and the shooting death of Trayvon Martin drew many to the streets across the country in protest. The president reacting with personal candor. There are very few African American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. This from a president criticized by some in the black community for not being more outspoken about race. Yeah, I like to see him uh, be more passionate about race questions. Last week in New York, Mr. Obama may have given a glimpse into his address today honoring the civil rights leader. Each generation seems wiser in terms of wanting to treat people fairly and do, do the right thing and not discriminate. And that's a great victory that we should all be very proud of. Former Presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter will be there as well. So will actor Jamie Foxx and media mogul Oprah Winfrey, who credits King for much of her success. It is because of Dr. King and all those who worked with him that I stand. And because of them, I have a voice that can be heard. Don Lemon, CNN, Washington.